everyone, welcome back to the NPT Podcast. This is Will Crane, your host. Thank you so much for joining me as we go through the content you need in order to dominate on test day. So today we'll be going through a practice question. I've got a pra practice question related to the cardiovascular and pulmonary system. So be sure to stick around for that. But before we get to that, just a quick reminder, this will be your final reminder. Sign up for our in-person NPT prep workshop. This is on June 9th and 10th in Chicago. You have to register by the end of this month. So as you're you got to do it as soon as possible. So the way to register is you go over to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast, enter your email, and we'll send you a link to the registration. This is this is cool. We're going with one of our, our corporate sponsors who's helping us to, to sponsor this event. This is a great opportunity to get together, talk about the NPT. I think you'll really like it. It is free to attend, but you have to apply in order to get there. You have to be selected in order to attend and they will be covering your hotel room. So really, you just gotta get yourself to Chicago on June 9th and 10th. And again, this is an extremely limited offer. They will add more seats if enough people register. So certainly it is possible if you've got the time and you can get to Chicago on June 9th and 10th, be sure to come there. I think you'll enjoy that. So that is fun. I think you'll enjoy that. That'll be, it's always fun getting in person and going through these, these NPT prep workshops. We talk a lot about content test strategy. It really is a great time to get questions answered, really get an idea of what's going on for test prep, what you can do and really get the, get the ball rolling there. Plus, if you haven't already, be sure to check out ptfinalexam.com. We've got all kinds of courses going on. We're coming into our crash course season. So if you're a PT or PTA, we run a crash course three weeks before every test day. It's a very economical way to go through the biggest systems on the test, cardiomuscular neuro, one more time. And so we will be planning on doing that for the July exam as well. So you've got to check that out. I think you'll enjoy that. And so, and you can always find everything out over at ptfinalexam.com slash podcast to get on the list. We'll send you the updates as, as they come available so you can sign up and be a part of our classes. So today we'll go through cardiovascular and pulmonary interventions. So the cardiovascular system, this is the third largest system on the test, somewhere around 23 to 28 questions on this. It goes through examination, differential diagnosis, and interventions. And so today we'll be going through a practice question. It'll be as our standard, our normal operating procedure here is that I'll queue up the question. Those of you watching the YouTube version of this can read along with the question and uh, I'll give you a moment to respond and then we'll talk about the answer together. All right, a patient with Parkinson's disease is being treated in an outpatient clinic. Which of the following rating of perceived exertion intensity would be most appropriate to increase functional capacity? So again, a patient with Parkinson's disease being treated in an outpatient clinic, which of the following rating of perceived exertion intensities would be most, most appropriate to increase, cardi to increase functional capacity? So we're looking at RPE related to Parkinson's disease, two out of 10, four out of 10, six out of 10, and eight out of 10. So again, Parkinson's disease, what RPE intensity would be most appropriate? Two out of 10, four out of 10, six out of 10, and eight out of 10. Well, given just that information, the correct answer here is eight out of 10. So you've got to have a higher rating of perceived exertion. They have to target that eight out of 10 or higher because they have, well, number one, they have a decrease in amplitude of movement. These folks with Parkinson's disease, one of the primary characteristics is bradykinesia and akinesia. So therefore your target intensity should be somewhere in the eight out of 10 range on the RPE scale. So eight out of 10 is quite significant. This fits nicely in the big and loud therapy or LVST therapy, where you ask the patient to take the largest amplitude movement they can, moving multiple body parts in a co complex movement in the largest amplitude possible. And again, this is part of the exercise intensity training. You wanna push them to their limits because they tend to be quite Brady kinetic, they don't move very much or at all. They tend to have a blunted heart rate response. They have decreased tolerance of intense activity. So the decreased tolerance of high intensity exercise. So you need to push them back up by giving them a, a large amplitude movement, high, yeah, high volume movements, big and loud therapy, higher RPE ratings. You need to push into that eight out of 10 range in order to push beyond or like what I like to think about with Parkinson's disease, these folks have a, it's almost like someone turned down the volume, they turned down the amplitude of movement, 
And your job is to try to turn that back up again, almost like you're turning up the volume. And so increasing the amplitude is one of the key intervention strategies for someone with Parkinson's disease. So this question, pretty straightforward, a numeric question where you really just have to distinguish between two, four, six, and eight. You probably would have been able to narrow it down to six out of 10 or eight out of 10 because those two are at the higher levels or higher intensities. And therefore, eight out of 10 is your best target just because it pushes you into that, that, yeah, into the highest exercise intensity, which is good for, for uh, someone with Parkinson's disease. All right, so with that, we'll bring it to a conclusion today. Again, kind of a quick quick episode today talking about a practice question. If you haven't yet, be sure to go over to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast, put in your email, and we'll send you the link for the registration form for June 9th and 10th. You'll love that. Again, this will probably be the last time I announce that unless they open up some more seats. Again, depending on how many people register. So in the meantime, check out ptfinalexam.com. Check out all of our other episodes. And if you haven't yet, leave us a five-star review. It helps so much as we're getting the word out. We'll catch you in the next episode. We'll crane fist pumps all around. Have a fabulous day, everyone.